Saturday morning, but when I ran across uh, this post on uh, We Are Anonymous website, um, I had to get it out there to you uh, because it just it sparked a thought that many of us are not safe, and I guess that is um, amplified by the recent attacks uh, on me and threats on me because of the video I put out about the soldier. Um, everybody missed the, seemed to miss the point on that, and it was quite discerning when uh, what is supposed to be my own military, who is supposed to be fighting for my right to free speech, would actually threaten me. I don't really give two fucks, quite honestly. Any of you that know me, and, and really know me, know that I understand that when my fight here on this planet is over, I have the rest of the universe at my disposal, and I'm confident that my children, even when I could not do it, were provided for and safe. Life exists. I don't have to worry about that. Me being here or leaving here, life is going to go on, so fear does not uh, make my decisions. And if you want to call me a keyboard warrior, then please come to my house with a pistol to my head that is loaded and cocked and see if I repeat the same thing to you to your face. Because that's what will happen. But the reality is this right here. Activists do get killed for standing up. This, um, let's get into it. Let, let, uh, I'll link you to it so you can have it and share it, uh, read it yourself, whatever the case. Um... And if I butcher names, please forgive me. Uh, Rigoberto Lima Chalk, an indigenous activist who fought against the environmental pollution that was taking place in his area, was shot and killed outside of a courthouse in Sayachi, uh, Guatemala this week. The murder came just one day after a corporation that was accused of polluting a local river with pesticides was forced by a court to cease its operations for six months. So full extent of their impact on the local environment could be excess, uh, assessed. Rather. Rigoberto Lima Chalk was one of the most outspoken critics of the corporation that was extracting palm oil from the region and uh, manufacturing the product with harsh pesticides. The company took no care for their waste and ended up poisoning local waterways with toxic chemicals. Uh, Rigoberto Lima Chalk was shot by two masked men on a motorcycle as he was leaving the courthouse. I'm going to link you to this if you want to read uh, and pick up the other links. Um, and I hope that you guys don't fall asleep and say, well, that's Guatemala. What concerns me, especially with the recent um, uprising against corporations here in this country by indigenous people, which I encourage, we intended the re a rally in Salem, to stand up against Nestle with our indigenous brothers, no credit to us. They did all the work. We just gotta, we gotta stand by them, and we gotta get rid of these corporations that that are killing our planet and killing our people. And if you think Guatemala is far away, well, maybe it is from you. But these corporations are touching every country, and they're killing people in every country, and they're either gonna do it by exploiting the resources there and intoxifying it and when you make them stop they're going to come put a bullet in your head I don't want you to stop what you're doing I want more of you to stand up because when more of you stand up well there'll be less of them with any bullets at all oh that's my hope so anyway, I'll, I'll link you guys to this. Uh, check it out. Share it around. Uh, share the video. Notice the videos are not monetized. Um, so, you know, I'm not here to be making money off that. Um, if you do want to give any form of support, you can do that through my website. Uh, cumulatively, between radio shows, video, all the other stuff, 
I'm putting a lot of time in. Um, and so if you feel that's worthy, sponsor the website because then it's then it's helping uh, my activism and it's helping your cause by you know getting some more people to see that. So anyway, uh, link below to the post. Visit the website. Um, check out everything else that I'm doing. And much love. Many thanks to you all because you really are putting your life on the line. See you soon.